is showing you the ways Coloradans are in this together. A volunteer group that has patrolled Denver for two decades hit the streets for the first time in weeks tonight. The new focus of the Denver Guardian Angels is helping some of the most vulnerable to COVID-19. Our Connor McHugh joined the commander today and Connor is live now in Denver. Kathy, the Guardian, Guardian Angels actually took a break from their community engagement recently because of the threat of COVID-19. But today, the commander of the group came out here to East Colfax to check on each and every person in the homeless population that he could find. He says these are unprecedented times and people need to be stepping up for those in need. Few people know East Colfax the way Robbie Salo does. Uh, Capitol Hill's always been our home, a lot of great support here. For 25 years, his group, the Guardian Angels, has worked to curb violence in the area. But in the time of COVID-19, there's a new focus. We're always very concerned about the plight of the homeless. I'm concerned that there could be people infected with this virus that won't seek treatment that could spread it amongst the rest of the population. So far, Denver has confirmed at least two positive cases among the homeless. On Saturday, Robbie looked for anyone else with symptoms between High Street and Civic Center Park. Mostly verbally inquire and check if they know of people that are sick. Along the way, he offered up resources and much needed essentials. Bam, bam, bam. It's tough. It's really tough to get the resources that are needed for people right now. Uh, I, I think that the homeless population has completely been overlooked, honestly. Typically, Robbie would be joined by a number of other guardian angels. A number of our group are older, even in that vulnerable group. And many people have circumstances where they either have somebody quite vulnerable in their home or they're just afraid. But for now, he's ready, willing, and able to step up on his own. This is the crisis of our generation, of our time, like the world wars were. And I think it's so important that everybody that can do something. It's a different game now. And it's, uh, we gotta be cautious, but uh, not paralyzed in fear. Now today, Robbie did not run into any people who were exhibiting any symptoms, but a lot of the people he talked to did have one major concern. They say that has come with all of the building closings because of COVID-19. He says right now with all those closings, there are not a, there are not a lot of bathrooms for people to use outside of homeless shelters where social distancing is tough. Live tonight in Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Thank you, Connor.